Um, it has been quite a while, but I'm really excited to be doing what I'm doing right now, which is sitting down and filming a YouTube video. I'm literally filming a YouTube video. Oh my God, this is, I have not sat down and filmed a YouTube video in like, I don't know, it's been a while, but I have really, 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 I have really, really, really wanted to get back on YouTube and I finally feel like the time is right and here we are. So I started a YouTube channel when I was, it was my 10th grade year of high school. So it was about like 2011, I think. So it's, over, it's been over like 10 years since I started my YouTube channel, my fashion blog, since I've been like just um, sharing my life, my journey, my process, my modest fashion journey. Um, doing uh work around self-love and confidence and healing and you know just all that good stuff that we deal with as women i've been doing that for over 10 years now which is crazy to think about but yes i'm here and i don't plan on stopping anytime soon first off i just want to say for any if anyone who's watching this has watched my videos over the years I want to say thank you thank you so much after like you know really slowing being able to like slow down in life and like really reflect over um you know what my life was like when I was filming and starting my YouTube channel and filming so many of those videos like it was a lot going on for me it was a lot going on for me in my life and I just really took so much of I just took like all the energy um that I could have put into like uh, more like unhealthy like coping mechanisms and I just like poured it into uh, my YouTube channel into this brand I was building into into like mission work and I'm just so thankful for all of you who who did become a part of that you know community um, and you know found benefit in the work that I was striving to do because it was really a safe haven you know for me and uh i'm just yeah i'm just really thankful but i definitely when i was younger i had a had the dream to be a fashion designer and i wanted to you know being muslim you know um i i wanted to be able to create modest you know fashion for the masses you know and so um and just like showcase the beauty that exists with it because those options and that representation just you know isn't there as much so that was the dream so I kind of re-picked up that dream once I was in high school and I became after you know build like uh, expressing myself and my fashion online I became really passionate about going to college and like studying fashion design and taking it really seriously so that I could get the skills and expertise I needed to go after this dream and so um I tried to look into the best schools I could go to and I ultimately landed on Kent State University which was an amazing experience and it was an amazing institution um I really enjoyed um my time there uh college was very difficult though so my my goal when I started school was to document my journey because I felt like there wasn't a lot of representation of like what the life of a fashion design student was like and so I was in my freshman year I was really documenting my journey and um you know it was challenging balancing your YouTube channel while also trying to balance your life <laughs> and college and I had like there was I had so many things that had just happened to me that I was still processing from like high school that and I just kind of like graduated and just went away to college and so like I was still dealing with those old things that I kind of ran away from in a sense and then I also was like dealing with these really new present challenges that were in front of me in college so it was kind of like a lot going on for me to say the least but I was documenting my, my uh, I was documenting my journey like the good the bad the whatever but um you know uh, after a while it got kind of overwhelming to keep up with cons with consistency and posting and by my sophomore year i was still vlogging and you know wanted to you know put out episodes uh like later basically like not cons not like vlogging weekly or anything but just like vlogging in general and then like i decided i would just po edit the you know the episodes when i could and sophomore year got really dark so that was crazy because i experienced like anxiety and depression um during that year I feel like it was just a it was like a build up and um and uh but I I was still vlogging I was still recording so that that time in my life I have like documentation of and I actually you know shared it if you know you've seen that like those video or vlogs from sophomore year 
and so by I ended up having to take a semester off and I definitely wasn't in a space to be like really sharing for real for real um you know I tried I shared some things but not like not like anything I had been I had done before not like really consistent at all and then I went back to school my junior year and senior year and I was still striving to put out videos um I did put out some videos but again not very consistent which is fine um it was just a lot I had to just focus up on what I had going on honey okay and then yeah and so then once I graduated college which was amazing so happy I made it through um a whole pandemic happened and I had already had my own uh like again like I've been saying my own issues and challenges that were just building up and I just was like you know honey once I graduate I'm just gonna give myself a break okay I'm just giving myself a full-blown break okay I'm not gonna hurry up and get a job I'm not gonna know that I just need to like get myself together and so the pandemic happening it kind of worked out because I was already not gonna I was already planning on being home and tucked but it became more socially acceptable to do that because everybody had to do that because it was a pandemic so you know it was what it was i did a lot of healing in 2020 and 2021 for sure um and you know so you know just to say like where i want to take my youtube channel now that i'm feeling in a really good and healthy place is that you know i want to talk about um my healing journey i want to talk about women's health you know i have experienced having a hypertonic pelvic floor i've talked about it some on my um instagram my facebook my social medias but uh you know i haven't been able to dive into it here on youtube and i would like to be able to talk about it more in depth because i think it's something that a lot of women do deal with and i don't see um a lot of information or relatability like uh online about it or awareness being brought so that's something i would like to talk about um just mental health and you know fighting for your mental health and the things that have really helped me you know my what that my, what that journey has looked like and some of the tools that i've been able to utilize that's really helped me um i would like to talk about um uh well, I'll kind of talk about it in, you know, my women's health video, you know, talking about, you know, just the importance of, you know, sensuality and having a healthy uh, perspective on your sexuality and stuff like that. Not deep diving in super deep into it, but just, um, you know, that's a big issue and it can really that, you know, uh, vaginismus is a big issue. And so, you know, uh that will that will I will connect all of that when I do the women's health video so I'll talk about hypertonic pelvic floor vaginismus um sexual repression and you know all those type of things I will also of course love to you know showcase my journey with fashion like uh, yeah gotta get to that um I have wanted to have my fashion business for so long and I've had several attempts at starting and um I just had so much that I needed to learn and I have so much I still have to learn and I just want to be able to like you know take you guys on that journey I'm feeling really good about you know the progress and growth that I've been able to make and I really plan on releasing some really nice pieces soon so I would like to like do some vlogs about you know the things that I'm working on um and just showcasing my process as a fashion designer I yeah so I think that's you know kind of the things that I plan oh you know I want to talk about marriage and motherhood obviously I'm not married or a mother but I want to talk about preparing for marriage and motherhood I feel like that's a topic that is not talked about a lot at all ever I never hear people talking about preparing for marriage and motherhood being a wife and a mother the two powerful roles um that really impact the health and well-being of our communities and you know, um, I, you know, we prepare, we, we understand that we need to prepare for, you know, everything else, it seems like, but why not, you know, prepare, like really preparing for, you know, to be a wife or to be a mother and really feeling that confidence to declare, hey, this is something that I really want. And, you know, I want to be able to put myself in a position to be able to, um, experience that you know and so i want to i want to learn what is it about you know what what is it within myself that you know i can continue to you know grow and work on that can help me you know 
better prepare myself for what awaits me you know god willing so I, I would like to kind of open up that discussion and talk about the things that i've done and i'm doing to prepare and also would love to open up a discussion to know you know things that you guys um you know what you want and what you, you know you have been doing to uh you know prepare yourself or if you're already married or a mother what you did do to prepare yourself i just want to you know open up more conversations so uh, this was really long but um i just want to say like i'm back i'm excited about being back if you guys have any like uh video ideas or things that you would like to see like content you would like to see from me please let me know and yeah i'm looking forward to it it feels so good it feels so good to sit down and film a youtube video this feels right it feels like the right time and i'm excited i'm really excited so thank you so much i pray that you guys have a really blessed day and i will talk to you later Bye.